Hi, I'm Charlin Bodie, inventor of the bed bug blaster system that absolutely destroys bed bugs and other pests without using any toxic chemicals. Today we're going to do a sample demonstration of our system. And the first part of the system involves attracting the bed bugs from where they hide. And this little machine generates carbon dioxide at levels that simulates human breath patterns. What that does is it lures the bed bugs that sense carbon dioxide from their hiding places and brings them out into the open. So our very first step is going to be to set these in the bed area and also in the center of the living structure so that we can attract the bed bugs from where they're hiding. The first thing that we did in this house is we eliminated all the people, plants, and pets prior to starting the treatment. This house has a simple open floor plan. So we're going to, we've are going we chosen the center room of the house where, we, where we're establishing the first carbon dioxide generator. It's very simple. It has a simple household plug. It plugs into the family's outlet. And to turn it on, you simply press the button and that's all there is. It's now generating carbon dioxide to simulate a human occupancy. We're going to take the next one and take it to the master bedroom, which is where the primary infestation is in this home. This is the master bedroom in this home where the primary infestation has taken place. So we're going to take our carbon dioxide generator, hang it from the central ceiling fan so it can simulate the center of the room, and we're going to plug it into the, again into the household outlet, and then simply turn on the unit. It's that simple. We're now generating carbon dioxide, which is going to simulate human breath so that while the house is unoccupied and the treatment is beginning, the bed bugs literally come crawling out of the woodwork. Next step, folks, is we're going to positively pressurize the structure with the bed bug blasting machines. The first location that we have chosen is the window, and that's the window on the master bedroom. We're going to put the smaller of the machines directly over that window. So what we're going to do is open the case, remove the Bio Bed Bug Blaster Junior, and the tools are a razor blade knife, some four mil uh, plastic sheathing, and duct tape. So we'll cut back in a few seconds as we begin. The first step is to carefully remove the window screen. Next, you're going to measure the opening. and we're going to cut the plastic to match the opening. The next step is to take the hose, approximate the diameter, and make a small incision like this. Next, insert the hose through the hole. And then you're going to, we're going to come around to the other side and secure this using duct tape. Here we have the properly secured interior section where the hose comes in. And this is going to go right through the master bath into the master bedroom. It's important to always secure the end of the hose so it doesn't pull out using the convenient metal ring. We've used this and secured it to the window using duct tape. It's important also to make sure that you use a triple sealed seam all the way around to make sure that we're capable of generating pressure in the we structure. Have the smaller of our two bed bug blaster units completely connected to the window using triple sealed airtight duct tape seams. And we have it connected to the bed bug blasting machine using a triple sealed seam. The next step is to plug the unit in. Wait approximately 30 seconds for the ozone elements to begin generating at full capacity. And then the next step that we're going to do is we're going to turn the fan on high in order to pressurize this room with the ozone gas. It's just that simple. We're now flooding this room and pressurizing it with toxic doses to bed bugs and all other pests of high level ozone gas. On the primary doorway for the larger machine, we're, we're going to use a door instead of a window. This leaves us a second door for egress once we've sealed it on the inside, 
and still allows for the complete positive pressurization of the entire structure through the main living area. So what we're going to do is simply measure the doorway and build another triple sealed seat. Okay, we've now come to the main primary door of the central area of the living structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the large bed bug blasting machine. We have tape sealed the doorway. And we're again going to prepare it the same way we did the window. So the 12 inch diameter hose comes out. We prepare the doorway with a simple criss-cross cut. And now we're ready to insert the tube. We like to keep the metal tabs on the top so that it can be secured on the inside to keep this from moving around. And we're going to attach this on the outside again to the larger of the bed bug machines. We've now secured the inside of the airlock and we have a triple sealed tape seam all the way around the edge, which is necessary in order to create pressure. In this case, we've simply used two small pieces of duct tape secured to the metal loop in order to keep it from dragging down the entire door during the process. So we're now ready to go, turn the machine on, pressurize the structure for the next few hours. And when we come back, we can apply the residual bed bug inhibitor Turn based on, on the machine central And pressurize the structure. Always press the reset button. Plug it in. Stop shooting. Okay, it's now time to pressurize the structure. So we're going to plug it in, press the reset button. We're going to turn the ozone elements on, let them heat up, for about 30 seconds and then we'll turn on the fan. No Turning on the ozone elements, we'll let them warm up for about 30 seconds and while they're warming up to full ozone production capacity, we then turn on the blower. We want to positively pressurize the structure so since we're running this on a full size 2,000 square foot house, we'll put it on high and now we are literally flooding that house massive amounts of O3 gas, which will destroy those bed bugs where they hide. Now that the pressurization is complete, we simply reinsert both bed bug blasters into the box. We put back in the 12 inch hose, the 8 inch hose, close the box, re-secure it, we're ready to treat our next project.